Among the fashion mod scenes I'll remember forever are the rabble at Jean Paul Gaultier's collection for fall 1995. But at least I can say that the show was worth two crushed ribs. So what's happening to Jean Paul Gaultier this season? A sweet 16 party at the Apocalypse, said Women's Wear Daily. The irreverent Jean Paul has pulled off another mad show where he's wedded a doomsday vision of the future with whimsical eccentricities. It was maybe a cyber collection in some way, yes. It was a Mad Max set. A lot of Mad Max, Edith but a woman. Perfect. He says the right thing. It's exactly that. Edith Fitzwell meets Mad Max. Is what he said, and he's right. <laughs> this was a cyberspace punk extravaganza. Where pregnant cowgirls mingled with characters from a futuristic nightmare. I think John Paul, what he what he tried to do is is, is try to touch every every corner of, of the earth, you know, be it from Asia, be it from India. He wants he wants to include every every, every part of the world in, in his work. How do you think uh, your baby likes the music? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I I can't say love it or not, but. He was pretty excited because he was moving a lot. It's very important what we are, the future or maybe old fashion, no? Like uh, to have technology and to use it. But underneath the madness lurk perfectly wearable clothes. well-cut coats and comfortable form-fitting bodysuits. I don't have much to say for myself, but the clothes, I, you tell me, I thought it was gorgeous. Would you wear it? Um, some of the things that I would wear, yes. I was going to say, do you think bondage means freedom? <laughs> it's your interpretation. <laughs> yeah, no, you can be. <laughs> In Paris, the fashion file, I'm Tim Blanks, contributing editor of Toronto Life Fashion magazine.